Startups can be incredibly risky. Many of them fail outright, and even those that survive often fall short of their full potential. Now, fortunately, while every startup is unique, the core challenges that they face are largely the same. And as a result, there are steps that you can take to greatly improve your odds for success. So the books that we're gonna cover here today can help you discover how to navigate the predictable challenges of a business, the best way to spend your time and energy in the early days, the right way to talk about your idea to get useful feedback, how to prepare for the tough challenges that founders face, and tips for how to build an incredibly valuable business. Now, while the books do contain some overlapping ideas, each one provides a unique and valuable perspective. They can help you establish best practices and avoid common mistakes. So if you're only ever going to read five books on how to build a successful startup, these are the five books that I would recommend most. Let's begin with The Startup J-Curve by Howard Love. It's no secret that many startups fail, but what is less understood is that the path to success often involves making dramatic changes to the original startup idea. And unfortunately, many entrepreneurs are not prepared for this possibility. And as a result, they can end up feeling lost or even consider giving up when facing predictable setbacks. The Startup J Curve by Howard Love can help you put common challenges into context. It explains how the startup journey unfolds in a predictable six-step pattern. And by understanding how each of these stages in the pattern operate, you increase your odds for success. Instead of feeling lost when you face inevitable setbacks, you'll have a clear sense of how to move your business idea forward. Next up, The Lean Startup by Eric Ries. Many startup founders make the mistake of focusing their early time and energy on building a predefined product or service. And then after months of hard work, they're often surprised to find out that the final result fails to attract customers. People don't want to buy it. And the only way to save the startup at that point is to make expensive changes. The Lean Startup by Eric Reese can help you figure out the right thing to build, the product that people want and are willing to pay for as quickly as possible. The book stresses the value of identifying key assumptions so that you can validate those assumptions as quickly and as inexpensively as possible. Done right, this approach can help you turn your idea into a sustainable business faster and with far less waste along the way. Next up, The Mom Test by Rob Fitzpatrick. One of the fastest ways to validate a startup idea is by discussing it with potential customers. Unfortunately, many of these conversations backfire because most people would rather be supportive and socially polite rather than blunt and honest. And as a result, it's very easy to misinterpret their encouragement as a genuine interest in your idea. The Mom Test by Rob Fitzpatrick explains how to properly talk with people to gather honest and useful feedback. It can help you ask the right questions in the right way to gather the information that you need to validate or improve your idea. And it can help you avoid misleading information that could potentially send your startup in the wrong direction. Next up, The Hard Thing About Hard Things by Ben Horowitz. Startup life is hard. No matter how much planning or research you do, there will be unexpected surprises along the way. And unfortunately, there is no recipe or formula for how to deal with the most difficult challenges that founders face, not to mention the emotional struggles that often accompany them. The Hard Thing About Hard Things by Ben Horowitz is a collection of advice, practical wisdom, and humbling experiences that can help founders better prepare for difficult challenges. It tackles tough topics like having to fire friends when they're no longer a fit, poaching employees from competitors, and having to deal with the potential of bankruptcy. It's an absolute must read for founders who are facing tough challenges or for those who want to be better prepared to do so. Last but not least, Zero to One, by Peter Thiel. 
The goal of a startup is to create and capture new value. Unfortunately, generating value for customers doesn't always translate into business success. A startup can fail to capture enough value in the form of revenue and profits to fund the operation. And as a result, they can struggle to survive even as customers benefit from their work. Zero to One by Peter Thiel is about how to turn a startup idea into a valuable business. While much of the advice is geared towards wildly ambitious startups, many of the insights can be equally applied to smaller startups and even small businesses. It's an inspirational read for anyone interested in building a more valuable business. So those are five of the best startup books for entrepreneurs to read. If you're interested in learning more about business, I do have reading lists that cover business strategy, product development, marketing, productivity, and other business-related topics, and I'll link those up for you in the episode description box. But that's it for this list. If you have any questions or thoughts about anything that we covered here, let me know in the comment section, and be sure to subscribe and visit rickkettner.com to learn more about the best business books for entrepreneurs.